This might be it. No. I just unlocked the door, right? Did we have a similar option at the other end? Nope, not really. That's intriguing, and I don't think I can fly up high so that I can reach that one. Yeah, floor five. Damn it. So, the only thing that we tried was the P6 cell the last time. And, uh, there was a huge fight. <laughs> Weird Dolman, I think you're looking for 45 unit 716 door. We can have a look. 716. Hmm. Where could it be then? So, 714. 715. Where will it be? Seven one six. Unmapped area. Wow. That must be one of the missing altered items. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought, that we will be limited by this. really need to be quick enough how is it doing that come on Jesse figure it out Okay, nope, looking the other way does not really help. Is it 
showing green in another area. Okay, not with the shield. Oh, <laughs> that was my bad. How about don't move when red? Well, I was stationary. Okay. So the slightest movement will actually get you back. Because I thought that I was stationary before. That's why I kind of ruled out that mechanic. But thanks, Belden. And not even a tick. goes away <laughs> Belden wow I've never seen this quest or place just lucky guess it was a lucky guess and I kind of ruled it out as I said but thanks for trying for actually pushing me to try it again I actually tried not even to move the camera at those moments so maybe that even helped Okay, this was the twisted passage that we fought Tomasi before, right? And he fled. As far as I know. Oh my, where is it? It's gonna be a little tough. There we go. Unless escape altered item to worry about. Great. <laughs> thanks again, Belden. And thanks for uh, weird old man for trying to lead me to the correct door. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. Good. This is still unmapped area. Intriguing. We know that this was the fighting grounds, but I'm just going to have a quick look around in case we have something here. Hmm. Nope. Okay, back we go then. Oh yeah, I remember that we found a readable over there on the table. Table on the side of the wall. Oh, there is something there. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of tea. Because <laughs> it's needed.
good. So, the ramen lantern. Indeed, that's the one we already found. Okay, background. The lantern was discovered at a street side ramen shop in Tokyo, Japan, named Redacted. The shop gained immense popularity due to this item, this shining beacon hanging in its doorway. A visiting documentarian was similarly enthralled by the crimson luster of the lantern and helped it find international acclaim through a television series highlighting the world's finest restaurants. Audiences' interest in the lantern brought it to the attention of the Bureau, and soon the lantern found its way here to us. I write this as I sit beside the very, the very item. Its light is so comforting, so familiar. It reminds me of summer nights when I was a boy. The sun setting, the air warm, the chittering song of the evening insects. The lantern knows we all want to feel safe at home, secure in the knowledge that the world won't change and neither will we. We'll be young and happy forever here in its glow. Appendix. The author of this document was detained shortly after this case file was distributed. Individual handling of the item is now prohibited. Information in this document may be compromised by the author's obvious infatuation with the item. <laughs> of course. So it was like a, you know, a light for all the bugs. <laughs> and not just the bugs. Okay, so the, the acquisition date is from 2008. Okay. And we should have another case file about the the traffic light indeed red light ai 49 ke uh, containment procedure the object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight description altered effect a traffic light with three distinct lights arranged vertically vertically on each of its four sides from top to bottom the lights shine red yellow and green a popular children's game See CBA 316 for details, is believed to be integral in the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a distance of redacted from the item. Note, theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. Background. The item was discovered after a street light at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained and a gas leak was blamed for this confusion in the townspeople's perception. <laughs> okay. Gas. Mm-hmm. All the gases. Even the natural gases. Okay, anything else that we might have missed in here? Nope. Okay, let's go. So we need to talk to, to Langston. Indeed. Damn you. Come here. That's better. Let's stay down. 714. Okay, and where is Langston exactly? Over there, but, but lower. Bastards. Okay, we will need to heal at a at a control point, I would say. not good oh 
Oh, the anchor. Okay. We found that and returned it. And this is a surf. Hmm. Should go in even lower. Okay. Archives. Were we ever here? I don't remember seeing this tree. Also, I don't remember reading about it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is the second floor, right? And the elevator only takes us one to four. Archives. This is the area. Okay. to explore. Ah, shit. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a fight. Where is the ball? Show me the ball. There we go. Almost. Okay, it's down. Oh, oh, oh. Missed me. What? No, there is that little juggling guy. Oh, damn, this is nasty. Little black blob. Why in the hell are you here? Okay, Book Club Philip. Book Club Thoughts by Philip P. <laughs> Philip P. Unless you hook me right away, it began with visceral dismemberment scenes and his and this great unsettling vibe created by the unexpected the unexplained creature they named the Fix. As an avid horror fan, I loved how this story veered from the genre conventions into something a little more, for lack of a better word, weird. Everything felt familiar, but just a little off. The characters even commented on it, saying how their lives felt out of control, as if they were just programmed to perform the same empty actions over and over. Very meta. Oh, oh, oh. And I loved the way they left the ending wide open. What happened to the guy ordered to watch those monitors for the rest of his life? Did the fix get him? Is he dead? Did he end up in a parallel reality with the others? We don't know. And that's okay. All in all, an interesting read. I'll give it a solid 4 out of 5. Points deducted for some of the clunky dialogue and unbelievable choices the characters made. I mean, who the hell would follow orders from their boss in the middle of such a horrible slaughter fest? But I guess I shouldn't demand too much realism from a work of fiction. Okay. Just wish to grab everything. <clears throat> okay, I guess we were up there, right? Another fight right here. Right in the middle of this mess. OK, 
Okay, there is a shelter here. But there must be something around here as well. get through here okay let's try to grab any collectibles that we can there is something hmm come on give me something <laughs> what might this be how about some threshold kids Okay. Look safe to me. If unsafe, just Don't poke it with a space. stick. Wait, it's not even plugged in. Okay, that was, yet again, rather creepy. <laughs> so strange. Who wrote these scripts? other normal enemies because this one will never go away right it's moving up the stairs okay one down the bloody blob. I guess it's under me. Okay. Panopticon Methods Proposal. Process and Best Practices Panopticon Containment Procedures Proposal. Summary. In this proposal, I'd like to explore the matter of containment policy. When an altered item enters the oldest house, we thoroughly investigate any possible combination of actions or words or material that will prevent the item from applying its altered effect. However, I work with these entities every day and I have good reason to believe that a less convoluted form of containment is possible. 
the items crave redacted it was initiated a series if we initiated a series of redacted praising the items or perhaps incorporating their images into pieces of something that could be visited through the bureau i believe the altered items would behave without needing to resort to something or something <laughs> which only lead to the items feeling mistreated if we treat them like criminals we can't be surprised when they try to escape <laughs> all right and multimedia right we have another episode of threshold kids they are over any possible threshold come on there should have been loads of stuff to read in here <laughs> weird old man so how does this humble partner thing work it works as such that when you put exclamation mark humble in chat you will be presented with my partner link and when you click on that it will take you to the shop and essentially you will see on the top of the page that you are or thank you for supporting angel Otrix. that's that's going to be there and anything that you will buy uh at the checkout, you will see my name mentioned at the bottom of the page, as, as far as I know. And you can most probably adjust the the benefits, like what goes to charity, what goes to the partner, or what goes to your wallet. This is how I understand it. So, yeah. The most important thing is that you will go through that page, through the partner link. And... Yeah, let's try to put it there. I hope it, it works. Yep. Just to go through there and create any purchase via via the link. And to see with uh, within the checkout if you can see my name somewhere below on the on the bottom of the page that you are supporting Angel Otrix, namely. And there will be a certain percentage uh, deducted to me later on. <laughs> After quite a few purchases i would say so it's a, the normal affiliate program like you are getting a little percentage of the sales going through your partner link that's how it works i hope that's a that explains it <laughs> if anything else is needed just just ask me or let me know okay so this was a little underwhelming i really expected a little more Sometimes they were hidden on the tops, right? Hmm. Bad face. Okay. There's nothing else I can see. So let's go. Let's try the other side, maybe? Or the sides, actually. Nope. Okay, just pre-order the outer outer worlds using your link. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I believe that will be the first one. <laughs> uh, after the stream, I can <laughs> let you know if it went through. It should be visible in the in the dashboard that I have. So. You will be uh, essentially my partner beta tester, so thank you. <laughs> thank you for it. Yeah, the outer worlds look quite fine. There were quite a few confusing names going around because we played the outer wilds. But the outer worlds will be coming a bit later. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so very much, weird old man. <laughs> I hope you will be finished with, uh, with the other games, with like gears and stuff, until that game comes out. <laughs> oh my. Hmm. 